My name is Gary Martin, and I am the director of the Global Diversity Foundation. I'm also a Carson Fellow here at the Rachel Carson Center in Munich. Well, here at the Rachel Carson Center, I'm working particularly on conservation designations and the impact they have on local people. Uh, that is, over the past 150 years, we've decided to lock away parts of the earth in protected areas, national parks, forest reserves, uh, co-managed areas, marine parks, and all of this tradition of setting aside land and setting aside resources, protecting nature, has had an impact, of course, not just on biological diversity, but on cultural diversity. So my main interest now is looking at how the creation of parks, the creation of collaboratively managed areas, and some new developments like indigenous and community conserved areas. Um, my interest is to see how these protected areas impact people's livelihoods, their lifestyles, their access to resources, their democracy, uh, issues of social justice. Now, I think the really basic take-home lesson from my time here at the Rachel Carson Center is if these initiatives are imposed from the outside, they do not work. When these initiatives are imposed from the outside, they lead to people being dispossessed of their land in some cases, having their access to resources limited, having their opportunities for future development of their local economies, economies that are not necessarily capitalistic and not necessarily neoliberal, but economies that are very mixed and have a lot of elements of cooperative labor, and of sharing of resources and of common property rights and common property regimes. We find that when things are imposed from the outside that you have a loss of diversity. And when you favor the endogenous processes, when you favor the local processes of development and of conservation and of cultural revitalization, then we have an enhancement to biological and cultural diversity. And yet where does the world take us? constantly down the path of imposition of conservation and development from the outside. I take many sabbaticals from my job as director of the Global Diversity Foundation. Those many sabbaticals consist of three to four months that are spent here in residence at the Rachel Carson Center. And during the three or four months of many sabbaticals that I take every year, uh, I'm able to sit read, write, reflect, interact with colleagues from many different disciplines. We present our work in seminars, we have it critiqued, and these are very rich sessions because you have people who are environmental historians, anthropologists, sociologists, political ecologists, and you never quite know from what perspective or angle they're going to critique your work. So during the three or four months that I'm here at the Rachel Carson Center, I take a step out from the very active work that I'm doing with the Global Diversity Foundation. It's like a shelter from the storm, and I'm able to do the reading and writing that then enhances the work that I do in the field. So when I'm not here, I am often traveling in Mexico or now increasingly in Latin America. So we have a new project beginning that will also include Bolivia and Brazil. Uh, I may be traveling in Southeast Asia, particularly in Malaysian Borneo. I may be back home where I live in Morocco, uh, focusing on the projects that we're doing in North Africa. And perhaps in the future, I'll return to Southern Africa, where we've been developing initiatives in Botswana and Namibia, and hope to begin work there again in the future.